What up, peeps? What up, Dope Fresh Nation? So you guys been asking for it, and we're gonna deliver a draw my life. But we're doing it relationship style. Right. We're gonna so talk about how we first met. You guys never heard the true, true story on how we met seven long years ago. <laughs> More than seven years so now. So let's do this draw my life. And thing. because it was so long ago, it's a little, it's not fuzzy, but like some of the exact things are a little bit hard to remember. So we're gonna do our best to tell you exactly what we kind of remember. Okay. Right. So it all started. I was in the military, still in. Station Germany, I got orders to Korea, so I was home for 30 days of leave in between Korea yeah. and Germany. Within those 30 days, I used to go out a lot, you know, to restaurants and places. With my friends, we had a good time, and we used to go to this one place that was right around the corner from my house and every I, weekend. I used to work there at the time, yeah, so and I was a waitress. Gina happened to work there. So. so it was one night I'm in there, and I'm hanging out with the boys, I remember I was there and I was with another girlfriend that worked with me. So we were walking by Jesse and his friend. I think we were trying to holler at you and your friends. Yo, what's up, girl? Like, we were trying. Yeah, like, I remember we talked very briefly, but I don't really, well, I don't know. I remember standing near him very briefly. I and don't remember then, what yeah. he said. But I, I didn't think of nothing of it. I was just trying to holler at chicks. <laughs> <laughs> so, but then later on that night, some girl that also works there came up to me and she says, um, do you remember that girl? She described me to you, and I don't know, I was drinking, I didn't really remember, and she was like, she likes you. I'm like, oh, word, and I'm a dude. I'm like, oh, well, she must be cute. I like she her, too. Didn't no, no, I didn't even say like... that. I was, well, she was like, she thinks you're, you're cute or something. Whatever, she was introducing yeah, she. Kind of. Well, not really, she just said, I think you're cute, and she said it to me, and I'm like, she, she was like, do you want to talk to her? I'm like, yeah, and didn't she say something to you? The funny thing about this is the girl also, she was she was my friend from work, and she told me that Jesse was into me and that he wanted to talk to me. So she so basically she, lied. She lied to both of us, and, and so I don't know why interested. she did that. I really don't. The funny thing about it is her name is Faith. So we always used to say like Faith brought us together. Yeah, Faith. I know because it's Faith, she, but her I don't name know Faith. why she did that. Her name was Faith. That was pretty crazy. She like tricked us, but, but it was good because now we're still together. Yeah. So she told us these lies that we liked each other or, <laughs> or we were into each other. So I was like, yeah, I'll meet her. And, you, and then I, so I like went up to him and I felt really awkward going up to yeah, him. Yeah, it was but awkward. I, but I went up anyway. And I, I remember I gave you my phone number. This is the part that's a little fuzzy yeah, to me. But I remember, I gave you my phone number and you never called me. <laughs> you never called me. I don't me. remember that I do. It went like two weeks or a week you never called me and I'm back in the same spot a couple, you know, weeks later. And I see her and I figured she didn't like me because she never called me. But then we started talking. We got talking for a while in the middle of work. And I was, I was telling you all kinds of things like how I was in the military and I want to open my own gym one day. <laughs> we were and, talking for so yeah. long. Like, for like oh, I almost thought I was going to get in trouble because I wasn't working. I was, like, talking to Jesse for almost, like, an hour. And I remember you also said, like, well, look. I know. I was like, yo, I want to take you out to dinner on a date. And you're like, um, okay, okay. I guess what I was saying worked on you. <laughs> But you're like, I can't call you until Tuesday or something. I, was, I can't talk to you. I'm. It was like finals for me in school, and I was like, I was trying to be really dedicated to it because I know, like, the way I am, I get really distracted easily. And me, being that I like Jesse, I didn't want to like get distracted and not focus on my work because that's probably what would have happened. So I told him I wasn't gonna call him until Tuesday when I was finished. But I ended up calling him that same night. Yeah, yeah. we left the restaurant. She called me that night, like 3 a.m., like, hey. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, why are you calling me so late? And she's like, I just wanted to say uh, you're cool and blah, blah, blah or something. Uh, I didn't say, I don't know oh, what uh, I said. But, Neither of us remember what I said, but all right, so but I just like basically was letting him know, like, all right, fine, I'll talk so, to you before Tuesday. So we talked on the phone a couple times. We used um, to talk for hours. Yeah, for hours. But, we, but she wouldn't hang out with me because she wanted to finish school. You know, it's funny, I remember what you said to me at one time what? on the phone. Who said stupid? Oh, is is my pretty... voice too deep? <laughs> my voice. <laughs> but so then I was like, right, I want to take you on a date. And we decided on taking her. She was from Philly. I lived in Jersey. So I took her to a hibachi restaurant here in Jersey. We met in the parking lot of my brother's house. No. -uh. Uh -huh. No, we met first. We oh, met. we met in Dunkin' Donuts. I drove you to my brother's parking lot. We left your car and you jumped in my car. Yeah. yeah, but when you pulled up and you got out, I noticed there was a child seat in the, the back car seat, seat, car seat, and she, this is why I always say she played the first prank on me. She goes, I was no. like, oh my God, you have a you have a baby? And she gave me the straightest faces like, yep, is that a problem? I'm like, what? No, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? 
I was trying to see if it would make a difference because he was like, oh, do you have a kid? And I was thinking like, oh, is that going to ruin everything? So it I, did I make just a difference. fooled him. I fooled him. And my face like said it all. He's oh, like, like, oh, man. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just kidding. It's my nephew's yeah. car seat. So then we, uh, I took her out to eat to the hibachi, you know. We talked, we had so much in common from everything. Like our, my dad grew up in the same neighborhood she grew up in in Philly. They went to the same high school. My dad's a gymnast, she's a gymnast. My dad and her had more in common than I did. So I was like, oh, this will be cool to introduce <laughs> no, to No, we had parents. a lot in common. Yeah, on top of that. And yeah, we had, that, we had both the same kind of heritage and backgrounds and stuff, it was cool. So uh, I bring her back to her car after dinner and I tried to get a kiss. It was funny because I was getting- I asked you for the kiss, I, I, I? was I was leaving without like giving him a kiss because I didn't want to make the first move. I'm a girl and I was like saying bye. I was like, okay, bye. And I was like getting ready to close the door and leave. He's like, wait, I, I, don't, I don't get a kiss. And then I was like, okay. So I came back and, and we kissed each other. It was really cute. And he gave me a soft kiss. He was touching my face. It was so sweet. And, and so then I left and then- after that, we uh, phone yeah, that. we talked on the phone. I took on another date to a Sixers game, which was cool. She's never been to a 76ers game. And this is, I only had like maybe three weeks left until I had to ship off to Korea. And we were like starting this crazy relationship. Like we were really into each other. Mm -hmm. And I was like, look, I got to go to Korea, you know? And like, I think we spent, we spent Christmas together. We exchanged gifts. We got really close. And it's like, I have to go to Korea for a whole year. Yeah. And we decided like, we we're going to do a long distance relationship for a whole it year. It was crazy. Cause I never thought that I would want to jump in a relationship like that. I never, ever thought I'd be in a long distance relationship, but Jesse and I kicked it off so well. And our yeah. relationship was so good that we were like, you know what? Let's make this work. We yeah, did. so that time came, I had to go to Korea. I remember I was so sad you were? at the airport. Yeah, I was Aww. like, man, this sucks. I don't want to, I figured like there was something special here and I didn't want to lose it. Aww. So Jesse. we, and then you drove me to the airport and then you, you just dropped me off in front and then what'd you do? You just you and parked then and ran I in. I remember like I was supposed to just drop him off and I didn't want to leave like that. So I, I must have like let him go inside and then I, I like parked and I ran back inside. So I could find him. It was then, like a movie. Like, you know, that person I, running through the airport, come back, <laughs> I'm leaving. And then, like, he was real happy to see me again. And I just waited until he had to take off. And then we, we did a long distance relationship for a whole year while I was in Korea. She actually came out to Korea and visited for yeah. a week, which was awesome. She's never been on, like, a, like a plane was, really by herself. Yeah, it was crazy because the only time I ever flew was probably when I was seven years old. And then I, the next time I flew, I was all alone. I was going to another country. They don't speak Layover English. Layover in Japan. It was so scary for me. She made it, though. But it wasn't that bad. I made it, and um, so it was yeah. great. We had a good time. Remember that we always used to finish each other's sentences. Too. Oh, yeah, and here's another thing I forgot to tell you guys. When we first met, when that, that when I was doing those 30 days in, like, in between on leave, we were really into each other, but I thought it was too early to say I love you. Oh, yeah. So we would say L-bomb. Like, I want to drop the L-bomb, but I don't want to say it because it feels like it's too early. So we'd always say I L-bomb you. <laughs> he started the L-bomb thing. Yeah. He's like, L-bomb, L L-bomb. And L -bomb, it was really yeah. funny. I remember the I remember first I time. wrote it on the window at your work one day when you were working. I would still go into the restaurant you know, because she still worked and, and kind of stalk her out and hang out with her. Oh, he stalked me. <laughs> I remember the first time that Jesse said, I love you. We were in his bedroom. He was like laying down and he was just like staring at me. I was like, what? And you were like, and you like put the L up. Because he used to put his finger up the L bomb. Oh, it would make like, he, a, like a he, gang sign L bomb. He put the L up and then he's like, love you. And I was like, what? What'd you say? What? What? No, I didn't hear you. Because I did hear him uh, and I was like shocked that he actually wait, said Wait, I thought it. we said it in, in New York. When we were I, that was Asia. the first time I said it to uh, you. Okay, well, and then we did the long distance relationship for a whole year in Korea. Got back. I was stationed in New Jersey, luckily, so I could finish out m my career and still be with her. So once Jesse came back from the military, we had about a year together before we moved in together. So like, we, I used to sleep over his house all the time. And then like basically after that year came up, we decided to move in together. And we got our house, which we're still living in now. We, and that's our house. And, <laughs> and the rest is history. So that's how we met and that's our story. I, I wanted to, we wanted to definitely share it with you guys. You've always asked. And we wanted to do it in a draw my life. And I hope you enjoyed a little switch up from the vlog. We'll be back on the regular vlogs tomorrow. And we'll see you guys uh, later. Peace. On the streets. Sign. Sign.